Hey, what's up, everybody? It's No One Shall Here. We're here to talk about some rants, maybe some complaining, maybe not. I don't know right now. But so Scopely's been pushing these packs lately. They've been advertising a lot of things in this game. They've been pushing the you see the hijacked ships in there, but you don't know how to earn them yet. Those should technically be pushed into the background up until the time is uh, come to actually get those hijacked ships. Or officers like uh, Alex or Marcus Alexander, he's just sitting there. We can't get him yet. We don't know how to get him. He's not in packs right now. He's really in nothing. But he'll be a good officer to have. His stats are pretty dang good. Let's see what his uh, captain order is. Overpower. At the start of each round, if the opponent's HHP is under 80% of its starting total, Alexander Marcus has an 80% chance of inspiring morale for the ship. So he kind of works like Kirk, but I'm guessing HHP is like hull health percentage. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And his uh, officer ability is Shady Methods. At the start of the battle, Alexander Marcus increases his shield piercing at shield piercing of the ship to 100 percent of the defense of the crew sh of the ship. So I'm not 100 percent sure what that means. I'm guessing at the start of each round, he has 100 percent shield piercing to the ship, which is pretty good if you're going on opponents. And then let's go down. If his his better half, most of us should know him by now. Which would be Harrison. Not a lot of us have him. I don't. I want him. But his abilities are on par. The one we want, like is Sabotage. But the weapon designer, when fighting explorers, John Harrison increases the weapon damage by 20%. Which no one uses him for that. Everyone uses him for Sabotage. Sabotage. For the first round of the combat, John Harrison ignores 60% of the opponent shields. That means he ignores 60% of them. He goes right for the ship. Like if you're using a Saladin... It goes right for the hull. Sometimes you could win in a round just because of that. I've seen people do that so many times, it's not even funny. He's a valuable player for PvP and PvE at this point. Like, remember those boss battles that we had for the Separatists? Some guys were one-shotting the bosses just because of Harris's ability. Because the Saladin crits, and then that. It's fucking, it's, it's nuts. Alright, that was that part. And then my rant at this point is... Gonna have to do with the... Uh, let me grab this one real quick. Give me a quick second. It's going to have to do with this pack. They advertise this exact pack on everyone's screen. 12,000 latinum, 150 crystals, 150 ore, 150 gas, 600 speed ups, 30, steel, 30 million steel, 6 million trit, 600,000 dilithium, 15, uh, 300 15 minute repair speed ups, and more. For the next 30 days. Maybe they're meaning. They should have explained this or elaborated this a little better. They're meaning 12,000 Latinum over a 30 period. Or a 30 day period of time. So you're getting 400 Latinum per day. So that makes sense. They should have elaborated a little better on that one. The G3 crystal. It's you get 5 G3s per day. Which in a 30 day period of time. It's 150. That goes through all three of those resources. Your... Speed ups, they'll give you, I can't even remember the exact number, I think it's eight of them a day, I think. My math could be wrong. It might be a little more. It's a little bit a day. It's not horrible. It's great. It's great. And then you get 30 million steel over a 30 day period of time. So you're getting a million steel on a daily basis. And then you move on to six million uh, trit. That's over, I think it's 500k trit a day at that point for 30 days. And then the lithium and speed ups. I think it's 15, 15 minute speed ups a day, if I if I believe right. I've bought these packs for a while. They're always going to be your best bang for your buck. But the initial pack that you originally get is going to look like this. I'm sorry for the image quality. It's going to be a little like cruddy. So when you buy the pack, you get 104 UC crystals. You get 104 or 104 gas, and they get eight 14 hour speed ups. And then all this, and they get three real low to tokens. The pack that they're advertising that's up front, this one, is just over the 30-day period of time. It's not like the pack that you buy right away. 
because other players, when you go into that buy screen to see this June pack, it'll be different per your level. But the payout is going to be the same no matter what. I think we can go back to the game and let me minimize this window. We can go back to the game, go to here, go to settings. Let's go to help and frequently ask questions. So let's go down to, where is it at? Daily rewards pack. And then content pack. All right, so here's your breakdown. The first pack that you buy is a, like I think it's a $20 pack or whatever it is. But when you buy these packs, all three of these, or two of the packs, the 20, I think $25 one, it disappears after you buy it your first time. Then you gotta step up to the $50 one and then you're left with the $100 one. So this, this lower pack is good for the lower level players. You get 100 Latinum, 250,000 players still, 50,000 Trit, 5,000 Dill, 100 G2 Common Refined each, 8 G2 Uncommon Refined, so that's your other ones, 5 G3s of each, so ore, gas, and uh, crystal, 5, or 1 G3 Uncommon Refined, I probably said it wrong, 4 one hour speed ups, two 15 minute repair tokens. So this is over a breakdown of each day of what you get. This is exactly what you get. And then you go down to the $50 pack, you get 200 Latinum, 500,000 Parasteel, 100,000 tr Tritanium, 10,000 Dilithium, 200 G2 Common Refined of each, 20 G2 Uncommon Refined of each, 10 G3 Common Refined of each, Two G3 uncommon refined of each, 10 one hour speed ups, five 15 minute repair tokens. So these first two packs are good for all the lower level players. It'll help them advance and push quicker. These, like I said, these are your best bang for your buck. And here's the breakdown. So the one I couldn't explain right, here's your whole breakdown on it. You have 400 lat a day, 1 million steel a day, 200 trit a day, 20K dilithium a day, 400 G2 common refined, 50 G2 common refined, 20 G3 common refined, four uncommon refined each. I believe that's five because I, I always see five every day. 21 hour speed ups, 10 15 minute repair tokens. This is always gonna be your best, but even if you're lower too. If you're willing to show up the hundred dollars for this game, I would do this one because it'll push you so far so quick. It's not even funny. Lower level players, it's gonna affect amazingly one through 20 it's going to shoot them through that level. When you get through 20 through 25, it'll slow, but it, you'll still get bumps up each one. 25 to 30, it's a complete slowdown and a halt. Once I hit 29, it's going to take me forever to get a lot of the resources. Let me show you, like, for my Saladin. I just got, to, I believe, Tier 5 or Tier 6. Let me look at it. Tier 4. See, I was wrong. So, my Saladin. It's going to require 325 uh, Uncommon Crystals for just an engine upgrade. For the energy weapons, it's 325 crystals alone. Let's go back to my flower. What it costs to actually increase that. This one, this one hurts. This one hurts to actually freaking upgrade. So go to upgrade. And this ship's broken. We all know this. They need to buff it. Because it, 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 a freaking 300k Kamari can take down 600k Mayflowers. It doesn't make sense. So look at this. 1.2k gas just to upgrade the, the shields on this thing at tier six imagine those players that have five six hundred power ones how much uncommons they're spending just to upgrade this that paywall is real the refineries need a bump a big bump per level the rng needs to be dropped or made the chances way better than they were and then i don't know we have gripes and everything about the game like our chat freezes our Sometimes our bubbles don't work, which I haven't come into play, or our uh, help counters disappear, or just random glitches in the game, like systems don't show mobs or anything. Most of them take a reset. Your bubble, double check every time before you go to bed, because you don't want to wake up to resource loss. Because right now, Scopely's not replacing the resources to a failed bubble. Just keep your eyes on it. And some parts of this game, I wish you would add like officer slots on the station for either defense or speeding your repairs up or even like uh, adding the uh, specific officers made for the station like then increase your dock of how many repairs you can do per dock like if you have four ships down you can repair one at a time that's just a time sink want to be able to have an officer on each slot to 
create a repair, like a repair officer. Or like, for mining, why don't we have an epic mining captain? That doesn't make sense. We have a captain for everything else, but mining it for epic wise. Why not have one that does T-Pring skills and stun skills at the same time? And then secondary is take advantage of other captain abilities of officers. So it's a universal officer that would free up Tiefering and Stawn for other ships. For these mine events, we only got to use one set port for it. And then we got to risk our other ships with a lower protected cargo or not the right officer set for it. It's This This honestly is just a rant or just a talk. I had to make a video. I was bored anyways. Like, it's just hard sometimes. But the like, other thing I want to talk about is like our the reworks on the the missions. It's way better than it was. I spent 10 million dill the other day just to get five or 12 rare or rare crystals and 50 uncommon crystals. That's better than what it used to be, but it's not that much better. Let's let me try to find one of them. I think it's at the bottom. Uh, it's it's going to be Let's see, where's that sucker at? I just had it right here. So you gotta kill, oh dude, I can do this right now, but I don't wanna risk my, I can risk my Klingon right now to kill time, that's good. So this one gives you three uh, rare ore and 27 uncommon ore. That's still a better trade-off than what you were getting before for these missions. Just to kill eight hostiles, I don't know what the rest of it is, I'll try it out later, just to try to kill time. Where's the other one that's were a little odd, a little harder to do? This one, resupply Starfleet with 50,000 G3 raw ore. That's, that's BS. We all know this. That needs to be dropped to 5,000 raw ore. That's it. Not 50K. That's a lot. And then, let's see. Where's the other mission at? Uh, sorry, guys. I'm a little ill-prepared. I always come up with these videos at the top of my head. I'm trying to get better at these. I'm trying to be more vocal. I'm trying to look at the camera more. Sometimes it doesn't work. I'm a shy person, naturally. I'm trying to work up my courage for this. Uh, right here, here's another one. You got to mine 5 million pair steel for 50 or 5 rare crystals and 50 uncommons. I want to do this because it takes 12k off my Klingon, which that's a no-brainer. I want to get that done. Like some of these missions will give you like 100k off your Klingon. That's a lot. That's a lot of mobs you don't have to kill. But sometimes I don't have the ships to do these missions. I want to shape, get build a new dual faction at this point. Like we go down to factions. Let's let's just look at my factions for the heck of it. So there I am, of course. I'm 3.3 million positive with heads. Klingons right now. I'm negative 1.3 million. That's what I'm trying to work toward. I was a uh, negative 1.6 million like last week. So I'm pushing through it. I want to be able to get like the D3 and stuff like that. Romulan, I'm already negative two mil almost. I was, I keep pinging back and forth. And Augments, I'm only 508k. I have 491 just k from Ally. So I don't know where the tangent I was going. Let's just look at this loot box. My 20 by four hour one. Ooh, 20k steel. I don't need that right now. And 50 uh, uh, ship experience. So look at this. I got 101 million steel, 9.8 million titanium, and 15 million dilithium. I'm 13 million down in the last few days. But if you look at my uh, my inventory, we go down. Yeah, I got 1.6 million officer XP. I have 131 steel tokens. That's 131 million st uh, steel. I got 16 titanium tokens. That's 16 million stuff reserved away. I got I got Two Dilithium tokens, that's only 200k dill. That's always going to be for that rainy day. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I was going to look for something just on my own. Did I already waste it all away? Yeah, I wasted my May pack away already. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video saying stay happy, play the game hard, don't take it too seriously, don't let cyberbullying get to you because we know it's there, and just keep trying the community makes this game worth it hopefully over time scopely will fix the game to make it better for all of us some people are quitting and cashing out i'm not going to cash out i enjoy star trek and i love my community i'm in right now so everyone be good and keep on hunting on and have a great day